Exercise 9, up and down. We're now going to add some more dimension to the shots that you're hitting against the wall. We're going to be hitting to the top left and right corners and also the bottom left and right corners of your wall. When doing so, we're going to have to take different grips into consideration. So we'll have to get good here at changing the grip from shot to shot, depending on where we hit it. For this drill, you want to start off by just hitting against the wall and then work your way up above your shoulders and then work your way down all the way down to below your knees. And you can do so by hitting multiple shots or you can hit a few shots just at the top and at the bottom. There are four key positions to master with this exercise. The first one is top left if you're right-handed. So on your backhand side, you want to have a high backhand grip on your racket. Now when it goes low to your backhand, below your knee, you're going to want to switch to either a bevel grip or a forehand grip to hit these shots. I'd recommend the bevel grip, that way it's a little bit more extreme and you can practice that there. On the forehand side, up high, we have a forehand grip, so that's above your shoulder, a forehand grip, and then as you move down to below your knee, you might switch to a backhand grip with the pad of your thumb flat on your racket. That'll give you a lot more control and leverage from there. Now you may have noticed the top left is the same grip as the bottom right, and the top right is the same grip as the bottom left. And so as you're moving diagonally or just straight up and straight down, you can switch between your forehand and your backhand without actually switching grips. Instead, you're just flipping the racket over without changing the racket in your hand at all. So get very comfortable with this drill because whenever you're in trouble and you're about to drop the ball, if you can get your racket face flat and underneath it, you can pop it up and keep the rally going. And that's the same for in games because we want to be comfortable hitting shots close to the floor, but we also want to switch the grip when we need to bring our rackets up high to hit a different shot.